A lawnmower cuts the grass and a security system keeps your house safe. But one gadget could do both. News 2's Christy Davis found some LSU students who've turned what sounds like fiction into a reality. They call it the AgBot, a robot that can do yard work and a few other things. But perhaps the best innovation, it's affordable. Just imagine kicking back while a robot makes passes through the yard, mowing, fertilizing, even planting those flowers you've wanted. It may not look sleek, but the solar-powered AgBot can do all of those things by design, putting it ahead of most robot development in the world. If you look at the past 10 years of the commercial personal robotics industry, you haven't seen anything but just a single robot doing a single task. Yeah. The LSU PhD student got the idea from the recent demand for multifaceted technologies like cell phones and computers. We want at least GPS, we want the camera, we want the Wi-Fi, we want Bluetooth, we want MP3, we want a browser, everything. So they put most of those things into the AdBot. GPS tells it where to go and where to drill. And while we were looking at the AgBot, the AgBot was looking at our videographer, Randy Rugier. And the security function eventually decided he was an intruder, sounded the alarm, and used its Wi-Fi to email the owner a picture of Randy and call the police. This made us to sort of think about robots, which are small and very cost-effective and can be used for commercial applications. The team plans to perfect the AgBot and eventually sell it with even more functions. Let's say today you want to clean your toilet. We'll go and pick up a toilet cleaning module, attach it to the AgBot, and it will clean your toilet. Now the team didn't get very much funding for the initial research, so they had to develop the AgBot on a budget. The prototype you just saw only cost about $2,000, putting it on par with most riding lawnmowers. Christy Davis, WBRZ, Balance News. Gosh, I wanted to cook dinner for me. Now, you can't run out and pick up an AgBot just yet. The students think it could be another 10 years before it's ready for stores. Uh, cut the grass, please.